So-called smart televisions. They're expected to be one of the hottest items this holiday season, but what exactly do they offer and just how much information are you sharing with the TV's manufacturers when you use all those bells and whistles? Tonight, Jennifer Lukey has the real deal. If you're in the market for a new TV, you've got a lot of options, and nearly all of them now have what's known as smart TV technology. The original idea was for Netflix and Pandora. Listen to music for free, have a Netflix account, make it easier. It was part of the entertainment. Now it's becoming a secondary computer to, to a lot of people. You need Wi-Fi to make it work, but once your TV is online, you've got access to apps like Twitter and Facebook, photos, and streaming video. So almost every set, uh, 40 and above, which is an average size set, 40, 46, 55, 60, 70, 80, 90 now, um, they all have it either built in or have it ready to go. Um, and I think this is going to be the wave of the future. The newest model TVs actually have cameras built in right on top of the screen, which means you could be sitting down watching TV here while Skyping with a friend across the country. And in some cases, you don't even need a remote. So you talk and it, it'll turn on? TV on. TV change. Channel up. Channel ah. Certain models also recognize your face and voice and store your program preferences. This is one of their better sets. But of course, you have to wonder just what else is being done with that stored information and how susceptible it is to being hacked. Samsung so far has not said too much about it, other than it's not liable for anything customers deem, quote, inappropriate. There's other issues with smart TV, too. Your router's at one end of the house, your new TV's at the other, and it comes on and it streams, and sometimes streaming will lock up, freeze up, or not work at all. And that may require an extra investment for an add-on to your system. Basically, in the end, if you need a new TV, it won't really be up to you whether you choose if it comes with this technology. The bigger sizes and the higher models, it's, it's standard. Whether you want to access that and turn that information on, it's up to the customer. That's The Real Deal. I'm Jennifer Lukey. So if you're interested in that technology but you don't want to buy a new TV, many Blu-ray players offer similar apps and streaming video. But if you are in the market for a smart TV, our fact finders did some comparison shopping.